Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. I hope that you are well. Those of you who are already subscribed and all that, welcome back. And those of you who are new, hello and welcome. My name is Victoria from BX Prada. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Okay, so today we're going to be looking into the month of December for the Sagittarius. Yes, happy birthday, happy season. Let's get into it. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Sagittarius, then these messages are for you. Maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Maybe you're getting to know one. You're married to one. Whatever the case is, keep watching. We'll get some tea on, you know, how they're feeling and all that stuff, okay? Um, right off the bat, I'm sorry if I'm speaking fast. It's definitely the coffee. Okay, but you know what, Sagittarius? I'm not even going to apologize because I've been trying to film this specific video video for at least this is at least my fourth attempt this whole week like the past seven days I've been trying to film this and it's been very difficult so I'm determined to get this done and get this out right this moment okay speaking of right this moment those of you who want <laughs> early access to all of my YouTube content in addition to exclusive access to other content that I don't post on YouTube Check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. I hang out with you guys every single week and I post weekly predictions for all the science. You also, like I said, have early access to all of my YouTube content. It's ad free and you have access to all of my live streams. Speaking of which, I will be going on live for my Patreon members only on November 30th at 11 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested, I'm gonna be doing a free card pulls. All right, so you send in questions. I pull the cards while I'm on live. So if that's interesting to you, join the Patreon gang we have so much fun over there uh so yeah just a huge shout out um i'm also going to be closed for personal readings uh in early 2021 i'm taking a long much deserved break and vacation i'm still going to be posting on youtube and patreon is going to be the main place where i'm going to be posting of course so um if you want to book a reading there's a few 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 slots left for the month of december uh descriptions in the the, the, the link is in the description box below okay let's get into it I pulled three cards for the overall spiritual energy surrounding you this December overall. And it's very interesting because these are the exact same cards that came out the very first time I tried filming this video, which was seven days ago. So this is amazing to me right now that the exact same cards came out. We got the number eight card, emotional withdrawal, followed by the number 13 card transformation. Anytime this card shows up, I know it's about to go down. I know it's about to go crazy. On top of that, we got the universe card 21, followed by the transformation. Are you serious? Like, are you serious, Sagittarius? I know it's your birthday season, but like, are you serious? Like, how hard are you really going? It's like the come up is fast. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we got the fertility card at number three here. Okay, so, all right, solitude, two. All right, right off the bat, Sagittarius, of course, solitude. I feel as though you are definitely um, isolating yourself in some way at this time. I don't know what you are mourning. I don't know what it is that you are processing. I'm not sure. There is something that you may be contemplating and you just kind of need some alone time at the beginning of the month to kind of just like be in your feelings or at least just hear your thoughts without like outside influences kind of like disturbing you, okay? So I do see you spending time um, uh, in solitude and isolation, but we also have rejoice and celebration. So Sagittarius, don't feel like you are completely alone at this time, especially those of you who are celebrating your birthday this month. I feel as though there is plenty of people surrounding you. Um, I feel as though you have the support of the universe, like infinite support. You have the abundance of Jupiter also supporting you. So whatever it is that you are feeling sad about or just a little low about or just whatever it is that you have like for some reason are spending time by yourself like thinking about or maybe you just want a break from people, whatever it is, don't get too comfortable being, you know, in your shell. Don't get too comfortable in the little hermit mode because there's a lot of people loving and supporting you this month and I'm feeling as though people want to celebrate you even even if you don't have a birthday this month I feel so people are still coming together and wanting to honor you and support you and you know like inspire you like I feel so the energy is still really great um we have the transformation card so I feel as though maybe you are contemplating the next move you want to take in terms of the direction of your life this could be a financial decision this could be just a spiritual change like maybe you're training you're changing from the inside out and you just need a bit of time to kind of recalibrate so again take all the time you need Sagittarius just remember that you are loved and you are supported okay and I'm seeing that you are going to be coming out of this moment of like isolation and solitude you're going to be coming out of it very strong very in tuned with your um with your intuition and very in tuned most of all with the universe one thing about you Sagittarius of course you are ruled by Jupiter the planet of abundance the planet of good fortune the planet of expansion you truly 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 elevate when you learn from your mistakes, 
when you are able to carefully visualize what it is that you want and so that it comes to you now okay you have the ability out of all the signs i would say or like out of most of the signs of the of the zodiac you are truly able to manifest with ease things come to you very quickly especially when you are in a good spiritual place especially when you are feeling uplifted when you are feeling optimistic the more you tap into that energy the more that you tap into your inner child the easier it is to get the support of the universe and the quicker things come to you okay so keep that in mind with the fertility card there's definitely new beginnings here for some it could be literal pregnancy of course it could be an actual uh, child but for most part i feel as though it's simply the rebirth it's a new beginning coming it's also an idea that you are thinking about coming into the physical form and i feel as though for the most part of you this new idea that that's coming out is going to be pertaining to your sense of self. I'm really feeling as though there is a transformation from both the inside out, and I feel as though Sagittarius season is going to be the rebirth. Um, I feel as though Scorpio season was kind of like the death, and now the Sagittarius season is coming back to revive you and just bring you back into yourself, but even a stronger, stronger essence of yourself that you are stepping into, okay? I hope that that makes sense. Let's move on to the tarot. Let's start looking into the first, um, sorry, not the first couple weeks, but I said, um, let's start looking into career and finances for you guys. Because I do feel so whatever it is that you're contemplating, you may be contemplating a big change. And for some, it could very well be pertaining to a uh, career. It may also be pertaining to what it is you are going to allow yourself to align yourself with. I feel so a lot of you want to align yourself with luxury. And I feel so you may be hesitant. You know that you're able to, you know that you had the ability to manifest this within your life, but you may be hesitant for some reason. Um, and just like not sure, you know, if you're worth it, if you're deserving. Well, absolutely you are. Okay, so let's see for um, Sagittarius, please. Career and finances this December, please. We got the Ten of Wands. Don't think that everything needs to be a struggle all the time. Yes, you do need to, to apply yourself. Yes, you need to work hard, but that's not all that there is. There also should be time for play. There also should be time for romance. There should be time for other things other than just stressing yourself all the time, okay? So some of you may be taking on too much at this time, especially those of you who have significant Capricorn placements in your chart. I'm also picking up on those of you born December 10th. I'm not sure why, but I'm just picking up on those of you born December 10th. You need to make extra careful that be extra careful um that you do not overwork yourself and just take on way too much like it's okay to say no Sagittarius especially this month I know that you want everything and everyone to be happy and to be satisfied but make sure you're not taking on too much yep you got to get your priorities straight this month okay it's about it's all about you because if you don't get your priorities straight you will be low-key struggling and you're not going to be honest and transparent about the fact that you low-key can't handle everything going on okay so um you're gonna have to be transparent with your loved ones you're gonna also have to be transparent with your boss your manager whoever that you are working with you're gonna have to ask them to either slow down your works your work um responsibilities or maybe your work hours i feel as though you're trying to do something kind of sneaky because you don't want to be honest with the fact that you are taking on too much right now and it's normal for you Sagittarius to say yes to something before even thinking it through thoroughly okay so i feel so for a lot of you you kind of like thinking about the expression when you um you bite off more than you can chew basically at the bottom of the deck we got the ace of pentacles so i feel so overall it's going to be a very fruitful month for you especially when it comes to finances i'm feeling as though you may not feel as though you are financially abundant but i still see that you have a roof over your head for instance i feel so all of your basic needs are covered i feel so you may even have more than enough when it comes to finances but your bougie self just wants more and more with the seven of uh, wands swords wands <laughs> sorry with the seven Six of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry, it's the coffee. With the Six of Wands in reverse, I feel as though you may be feeling like you aren't fully recognized, especially when it comes to your workplace. I'm also picking up on you feeling like you could really go like crazy with your finances right now, but you're choosing to be humble. It's like, you're kind of like, nah, like I could go so much harder. They don't even know if they only knew. And I'm just like, okay, Sagittarius. But I feel as though you're saying like, if they only knew how hard I could go, I could really go hard. But maybe you're going to choose to invest your money instead or put it into a savings account or something, something more, you know, more mature. Okay. Maybe that's why you are transforming because instead of being 
flashy instead of you know putting a lot of attention surrounding your finances and your beauty and just like outside appearances maybe you're trying to be more humble maybe that's your approach maybe some of you guys just straight up are not interested in your financial situation right now and you're just not happy because you want to be making more or you do want the luxuries and all of these things so it kind of goes both ways here but the main thing is that gratitude is what is going to give you that abundance you're looking for gratitude expressing gratitude it's not it's not a time for you to be focusing on what you do not have and it's also not a time for you to be breaking your own back trying to build and build and build because i feel as though you're working right now from a place of exhaustion i feel as though you're working really hard to be recognized by someone or for something and i feel as though you're not in the right path to be recognized right now because you're doing too much you're simply doing too much whatever your situation is you're doing too much you're just doing too much the universe is going to reward you but you just kind of have to tone it down and you have to practice gratitude all right let's move on to love and romance by the way you guys i'm speaking fast because of the coffee but also i know that my camera is going to cut this recording like at like 20 minutes so i gotta like make sure i get everything out and like I just like when readings are short and concise. Like, honestly, that's what I was really feeling for you, Sagittarius. Like, I've been filming this so many times. I feel so you truly don't even need messages right now or confirmation. I, But, you know, formalities, you know? Anyway, by the way, you guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because I see a lot of you watching this. You're not even subscribed? What the heck? Also, turn on your bell post notifications because... You want to know when I pull up, don't you? Okay, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your Venus signs for the love portions especially, okay? Sagittarius, love life this December, please. Sagittarius, love life this December. Sagittarius, love life. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Ooh, Sagittarius, love life. Some oh, card just flew out. Sagittarius, love life. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, what is this? Five of Cups, why are you sad? Why are you down? Okay, you can't make up your mind between two people, the Scorpio and uh, the Earth placement, or what's going on? What is going on? Someone's not making you happy and you're holding on to something that's making you unhappy. But I see you also having the strength to walk away unless you're dealing with a, uh, okay, what's going on here? I feel as though those of you who have not been fulfilled when it comes to your love life, I'm seeing you walking away from something or at least finding the strength within yourself to give yourself the love and the nurturing energy that you need in order to heal or in order to pick yourself back up and put yourself out there again, okay? Because I'm feeling as though you are starting the, the month off sad, okay? I'm not sure if you're crying over the past. I'm not sure if you're debating whether to stay in a relationship, whether to go. You're debating between two possible partners. You're debating, do I want to be single or in a relationship? You're kind of just like figuring out what your priorities are right now i'm feeling as though someone here definitely is not ready for commitment at this time could be you could be the person you're dealing with whatever someone is not really sure so they're like just kind of going back and forth here especially if you're dealing with the libra they're kind of going back and forth but then i see that throughout the middle towards the end of the year sorry the month okay especially after the eclipse especially at the, the full moon i'm feeling as though your eyes are opened up to the fact that you have not been really stepping into your power when it comes to your love life no matter what your situation is you haven't been really fulfilled and i'm seeing you doing something about it and i feel as though the solution starts at health care uh health care self-care <laughs> but also health care the, that's where it starts it starts with healing yourself healing your inner wounds especially healing your inner child tending to the inner child doing more things that remind you uh basically if your inner if your if your child self was sitting right in front of you what would you be doing what would your inner child want to be doing how would you speak to them how would you treat them i'm also picking up on eating chocolate i've heard that that helps as well you know with your inner child so i'm feeling as though it's going to be important for you to give the love that you wish to receive first okay treat yourself like a king or queen whatever treat yourself good first and you will be able to attract that type of abundance with a uh, zero pro problemo all right and then we got the um eight of cups as well so definitely i'm seeing a lot of options especially those of you who are single um i'm seeing options coming your way especially towards the end of the month okay so don't get sad um also those of you who are in relationships i'm feeling as though you need to address certain things you know uh there may be an emotional connection that's kind of winding down but i feel so with enough work and enough strength to also express yourself emotionally or someone needs to at least express themselves emotionally this could also be the cross watcher i'm feeling a lot of potential 
potential coming coming from this and i'm seeing a lot of passion being ignited once again so your love life is starting off a little shaky but i feel so once you figure out your priorities and once you figure out like what like what your goal is in terms of love at least for this month okay um i'm seeing good things good possibilities coming up your way okay i, I feel so the energy is great overall let me see more for you guys and then i'm gonna ask the moonology for you know some messages more for the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You may also be dealing with the Leo. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, or maybe you have Leo placements. But I feel so you have to make sure that you don't let your pride take, take advantage of things, okay? And don't let yourself be too sad over the past. You know, don't hold on to negativity, especially when it comes to love. You know, try not to do all that. Because how are you going to manifest from a place of desperation, from a place of sadness, from a place of sorrow? No, you have to manifest from a place of gratitude, you have to manifest from a place of excitement, enthusiasm, lightheartedness. Yeah, I'm feeling as though some of you may be too easy to judge someone. You may be thinking like, oh, this relationship's not working out because they're not making enough money. Or maybe, you know what, I'm realizing now that they're not even tall enough for me. I'm realizing now that they're not even this or not even that. No, stop judging things prematurely. Give things a chance, okay? And some of you guys may just simply be in a superficial dynamic and you have to accept that. But I feel so for the most part of you, there's still potential here, especially if you are dealing with a air sign, okay? And then we also got the um, the the hangman, okay? So what is it? There's something here that you need to see things differently, okay? Again, I really feel as though there is something about the dynamic of your love life right now. Are you trying to go towards people that have a certain lifestyle? Like, is that really the motivation here? Like, are you being motivated by love? Okay, especially if you have um, air signs in your chart, I feel as though like significant air energy in your chart, Sagittarius, I feel like you have to make sure that you're not trying to push emotions aside based on logic, okay? So it's kind of like you're telling yourself, like, I want to go for this type of person and I don't even care if they love me back. I don't even care if it's not even real love. Of course, you may not be actually saying all of this, but basically that's what you're doing, okay? So again, make sure that um, everyone that you're attracting right now and everyone that you're going towards this month is um, based upon true feelings and not just superficial matters such as love and status and what they, what they can do for you. Yep, we got the Nine of Pentacles and we got the Fool card followed by the Sun card in reverse, okay? So I really feel as though it's important again to tap into your inner child. Your inner child is not going to want to not be carefree, of course. But your inner child is also going to want safety. When you think about a child, you of course think about wanting to protect the child. You would not want that child to be in danger. You want that child to always have some type of supervision or at least be in a safe environment. So it's speaking here of needing to be less reckless with your heart, Sagittarius, because I feel as though many of you have been giving a lot of chances to the a type of partner that is not deserving or a type of partner that's just simply not fulfilling you the way you want to be fulfilled. And I feel as though some of you may be telling yourself that that is okay. You may be accepting this behavior, accepting less than over and over and over again again time and time again and you aren't being honest about the fact that you are not being emotionally fulfilled or you may be noticing that things never really progress past the talking stage or if they do they just you know they just last like a couple of months okay so I'm feeling that for those of you who do desire a long-term relationship something that is built upon uh, commitment and trust and all these things that allow for a, a, a long-term you know relationship I'm feeling as though it's really important for you to start protecting your heart it's important for you also to let go of any type of childish uh, behavior that gets in the way of things, all right? So this is, you know, being selfish, for instance, um, not knowing when to tap into our emotions, not knowing when to express our emotions, not knowing when to validate the emotions of the people that we love as well. Now, again, this could be you or the people that you are attracting, but I feel as though it's really important for you to avoid, um, yeah, selfish behavior at this time because you could really sabotage something beautiful. You could really sabotage a chance at true love, a chance at a new beginning, a chance at living something very exciting and worthwhile, okay? So we're going to move on to the moonology because I don't want to get too deep. I still want to keep things lighthearted. It is your birthday reading. It is your birthday video, okay? So let's, um, let's move on to the moonology, okay? I love you, Sagittarius. You see how I kind of calm down my tone? Because I want you to also be calm. Okay. Moonology for the Sagittarius watching, please. Ooh, we got too many cards that fell. But one card that I will that I will 
bring to your attention, Sagittarius, is the following. Adjustments are required, okay? Adjustments are required. I feel so they're minor adjustments. I don't think that you have to, I mean, train your whole life around. Though you could. I'm not telling you that you have to, but you could. But let's um, let's pull more cards here. Yeah, small adjustments are needed. Let's pull more cards. We also got the, um, I'll read these two out. We got the meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. So those of you who are guided to spend some time alone, you know, some time in isolation, don't just waste this time alone. Um, you know, don't just waste it by being on your phone, for instance, or just doing things that are distracting. Um, spend this time by yourself contemplating, you know, spend it uh, reflecting, spend it by the water, uh, spend it somewhere where you feel calm, where you can feel like you can really touch base with yourself and your spirit and also your spirit guides. Meditate and contemplate you have to make these moments these 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 yeah you have to make these small moments count Sagittarius because I feel so there's a lot of clarity that that is coming to you but you must be in the right headspace to receive them okay let me pull a few more cards for you and then we'll end this reading I really hope that this was helpful and again please like comment share and subscribe it really helps me out especially with the algorithm like with the likes and everything you guys thank you thank you Okay, um, more for Sagittarius, Moonology please, for Sagittarius, Moon Rising Venus, Moonology for Sagittarius. I'm so happy I had the chance to sit down with you, Sag. I missed you. More for Sagittarius, please. More for Sagittarius, please. One more shuffle, one for Sagittarius. Please. So a card fell while I was shuffling. I don't know why I feel so emotional. <sighs> It is the new moon in Sagittarius card and says luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Of course, you know this. I don't know if you forgot. You shouldn't. You should never forget this. This is your birthright, Sagittarius. You incarnated as a Sagittarius placement for a reason. There's good fortune here for you to claim in this life. There are blessings for you to claim in this life. It's time for you to claim them. Luck is on your side. Be fearless. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. I'm saying it. A lot of you guys have Capricorn energy and you've been working really, really hard. You're about to see that all the hard work is paying off. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. You're being a little too picky right now, Sagittarius, and it's time for you to be thankful and grateful for what it is you have and not focus on what it is you do not have. It's time for you to be more generous with your time, more energy, more generous with your energy, and more generous with your love. I'm not saying to give your love to the wrong people. I'm saying express your love to your loved ones. It's platonic relations, platonic, romantic, anything. And then we got a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. I'm seeing as though, um, seeing as though the new year, especially Aries season, like, uh, April is when things are really going to start picking up for you. So right now you're setting the foundation, you know, the groundwork for this, you know, this transformative new chapter in your life. All right. But do expect to uh, need a lot of rest and a lot of planning and a lot of focus because things are about to completely drastically change from now on up until April. All right. I wish you all the best. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. I do need to go, but I love you so much. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Okay. I love you.